Well, in politics, the road to the White House took a detour through Harlem today. It is like a rite of passage for Democratic candidates as an outreach to the African-American community. Well, today, South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg had lunch at Sylvia's with Reverend Al Sharpton. So what was on the menu? Well, News 4's Andrew Siff was there. The Reverend Al Sharpton only had toast. Mayor Pete Buttigieg ordered mac and cheese, fried chicken and collard greens. But really, that was just an appetizer. The main course, politics, and the delicate issues of racism and homophobia. Crucial because Buttigieg is openly gay. We've got to deal with homophobia in all communities, including the black community, including the faith community, that we are saying that people ought to be judged on their merits. That uh, language of America is just not ready uh, is something we've heard before. I think it gives America very little credit. I wasn't sure when I came out back home in South Bend uh, how South Bend would respond, but my community lifted me up. Now, if that scene out in front of Sylvia's look familiar, there's probably a reason it gives you a sense of deja vu. Barack Obama dined here in 2008. So did Bernie Sanders in 2016. And just two months ago, presidential contender Kamala Harris. Every politician comes to Sylvia's. Carla Hidalgo lives around the corner from the restaurant and made sure to get a glimpse of Sharpton meeting Buttigieg. I'm really interested in Mayor Pete. I think he um, sort of embodies a fresh start in American politics. You really need that. So what did Mayor de Blasio think of the mayor of South Bend enjoying the presidential limelight in New York? I don't comment on different candidates. As I say, I'm, I'll make my own decision soon and, you know, then I'll, I'll say different things about that race, but I'm not going to comment on individual candidates. Buttigieg, who took the three train to get to Harlem, said this about the Democratic field. When there, there's something like 20 of us in the mix now, I don't think any one of us is competing against any one other. Uh, I think a, a campaign like mine is in many ways competing against the whole field. The first Democratic debate just two months away. In Harlem, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.